Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video where I'll be playing out the Centurion Mark III. Now the Centurion Mark III is a very very good tank for its battle rating back in the day. Uh, usually what you would do is if you get hold down and protect your lower part of your tank which is where your ammunition is stored and just show nothing but your turret, uh, nothing would be able to penetrate you or kill you, not even uh, it would take a plane mainly to take you out or somebody that did in a very extreme flank but most of the times if you're paying attention not even that would happen you have a I think it's a yeah, APDS round with 285 millimeters of pin now you do have some uh, after a certain thousands of meters you do have a drop off on effective penetration we're at 2000 meters plus it's a hundred if not less than 100 millimeters of pin. Uh, you do have a very good power plant on the vehicle that allows you to get to 35 kilometers an hour fairly fast, which means you are able to move around the battlefield uh, at a decent pace and counter any enemy uh, advances or pushes, as well as uh, just be able to react to just about any situation possible as well as it has a decent reverse speed I believe it's I think at 10 kilometers an hour so it's not the best it's not French level reverse gears but it is fairly fast now to help back up the Centurion Mark III on the ground mainly in the form of anti-air I'll be taking out the Canadian Skink uh, that that word just sounds naughty and shouldn't be said you have on here a 20 mil for a quad 20 millimeter with the ability to act with the access to high explosive tracer as well as armor piercing tracer so depending on the situation that you want to put yourself into i would recommend either just the het just for taking out planes due to you have 42 millimeters of pin and at the tier that i'm reading at to 7.3 you won't really be able to pin anything although you do have your occasional light tank that you can go through if somebody brings a um, like an M18 or either uh, anti-air on the enemy teams uh, used to be or usually used to be kinda of put those two words together for some reason the Falcon used to sit at 7.0 I believe I think it was 7.0 I can't remember it was, e it was either 7.0 or 7.7 .7. But everyone complained that the Falcon was too overpowered, so they moved it to 8.0 because the Leopards were getting one shot by them. Uh, so yeah, so we no longer have the Falcon at 7.0, at 7.7. 7 .7. But anyways, the Falcon uh, being moved, it, it didn't really do anything. It's still overpowered at its tier, so <laughs> the move didn't really do much to it. So to replace it... Uh, to replace its firepower, I guess, they added the Skink, which is a very good uh, anti-air. You have a decent rotation speed. It's kind of slow at uh, 45 degrees a second, so you do have to worry about um, setting up properly and anticipating where the enemy planes are coming from and are going, as well as top-down, you won't be able to get penetrated. You have an effective, uh, what is that, 25 millimeters of... Uh, thickness yeah and to back up both of my ground units I'll be bringing out the Meteor F Mark III my child <laughs> this is my favorite early jet that you can unlock for War Thunder uh, sitting at 7.3 it's right after you come off of the Spitfires so you have um, I guess if you played through the Spitfire line and have gotten a handle at turn fighting the Meteor F Mark III will be able to help and or be able to continue to give you the ability to outturn most of your enemies now say but that being said that was maybe two or three patches ago where they before they nerfed all of the early starter jets so back before you could be turn fighting with this thing be dropped down to about a hundred uh, hundred miles an hour or less than and get all of your speed like right back or uh, you get dropped to 100 kilometers an hour and then as soon as you're done with the dogfight you just boost out of there and you'd already be back to like 500 kilometers an hour so with that 
nerf, you do have to be wary at what you're fighting. So, without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Alright, here we are on Ash River. I've been seeing Ash River a whole lot more now when when I play at 7.0, 7.7 for some reason. Which is interesting. And not the worst map that you could get at this tier. I enjoy well, I enjoy Ash River due to the amount of fun that I had on it back in the day before all the changes to the maps and um, battle ratings and stuff. But, oh, we're fighting the world. So it's the world versus the world minus Israel and Sweden on our side. And China on both sides, so. That's going to be an interesting fight. Gunner fuel tank, I was a little bit low on that shot. Oh, okay, you know exactly where to shoot me at. Surprisingly, that went through. I wonder what that was. Let's use our binos. Oh, it's a leopard. Ah, of course, okay. A leopard using heat, I bet. Yep. I wonder, can I get him from here? I might be able to. Nah, the rock's in the way. I was about to say, if I can get him from spawn, then you can probably get me from spawn too. That's weird how they made the map where they can look down into our spawn, but I guess. Might be able to machine gun him out. Got him. I wonder. Commander Gunner. The trees are in the way, so I won't be able to get uh, another shot off on him. I think it might have been Abyss. They, are, they, they do have France on their side, so yeah, it might have been an ELC Abyss. Or it could have been an IKV. So I'm pretty sure that's at this battle rating. Okay, I need to move my body out of the way so I can get over this way as well. Alright, let's see. I can drop artillery on them. Or I could just look over there. No one's there. No one's home. Yeah, that's an IKV. I knew it. Now, is that the one that I shot at earlier or no? Oh, that's a missile. I don't know if I should be worried about that. Is it a top down or is it just a normal missile? Uh, it's just a normal missile. Oh, whoa, okay. He got me spot on. I really I don't really need to wait for the repair, but I'm gonna go ahead and wait. Oh, he's still there too. Missed that time. Oh wait, are we fighting Britain too? I think we are. Yeah, we are. We're fighting Britain too. On um, okay. This is the British Civil War. Gunner and track. It's gonna be stuck there. Somebody else got him good. Oh, that's for me. An SU-9. Alright, let's see who we're fighting this time. We're fighting America, Germany, Sweden, and Israel. Israel. So... Hmm. We're gonna have some heavy tanks. They're gonna have, uh... STRVs. 
leopards. Uh, I'm not too sure what, um, oops, sorry, I'm not too sure what uh, Israel will have. I've also just come to the realization that it's a single cap and not a triple, a uh, triple cap, a triple? It's a triple, uh, it's a triple cap, uh, it's a single cap, so, uh, probably will cut in right here. Undamaged. A mouse! Okay, can't do anything against a mouse unless I'm closer to this. Okay, there you go. I can do something to the mouse. I just have to wait till he's looking straight at me. Come on, give me the other cheek, please. Can I pin that? Uh, actually, I can pin that. Oh, wow, okay. Come on, load another round before he backs too far up. Nah, missed it. Also, our Fosh just died to a T14. So that's great. That mouse is... Taken a beaten, but I need to adjust for anyone coming behind. Mainly that T14 that's over this way somewhere. Okay, let's see. The AML90 is going full sin, so. Don't know where the thing is I killed them at. Unless it died, and I wasn't paying attention to the map. Oh, the mouse. I can't pin him at this angle, though, I don't think. I can always try. Yeah, no, he's too... too angled. I need him to either look at me or turn his turret even more. Uh-oh. Oh, I think I see it. I do see it. Got him. For a second there, I thought my gun wouldn't uh, go down fast enough. Alright, T14 dealt with. We can go and help the team, although it will be back. I can't get over that mound. No, I can get over this mound. Hold on. Let me just break that. Come on, come on, come on. Get up to speed. Should be able to. Climb it. There you go. Ooh. Commander Gunner Loader. He's going to have a long reload. He's gonna have a long reload on top of an already long reload, so. Let's get the ridge. Come on, crest it, crest it, crest it. Should be able to go straight through that, yeah. Ah, oh, almost hit ammunition. I was off by a little bit. Uh, okay. I wonder. I'm pretty sure that was the T14 that came back for me. Okay, is the mouse still... Oh, I see another target that's not the mouse. Gonna track. One more shot there. Should do it. Nope, the mouse is out now. 
Oh, F-84. <laughs> okay. I just realized what that MD-4's name is. Good old Monty Python. Alright, let's see. We know that there is a F-84. And there's something else inbound. Not sure what it is. A Donier just crashed, trying to knock out a Conway. And the F-84 just got shot down, so that leaves the other jet that's on the attacker's tail. Uh, we're fighting America, Germany, Sweden, and Israel, so it might be a German jet. might be a 262. Oh, another jet inbound. It was an SK-60. That's a dangerous little thing. SK-60 is going to be the smaller target. Oh, and I've lost him. Oh, I see him. Got him. There's a narwhal. And whatever that is. Could be another narwhal. Or it could be a 262. Nah, it's a 262. Plain 262. Nope, here come the SU's 11s. Alright, one narwhal out. The other one is bound to go next. Oh, the SU-11 missed him. Nope, we got him. Okay, I know I can't damage vehicles, but at least I can mark them for our teammates. Oh, jet. Or anti-air, I should say. Kugelblitz, maybe, most likely. Yeah, with that Kugelblitz up, there's not much I can... I can't really spot like I want to. Because it's going to be watching for me. I see it, it's right there. And actually, I don't think the Cuckoo Blitz can look directly up. If I can stay, like, directly above him, he shouldn't be able to get me. Nah, I didn't get him in the turret. What is that? Shot a missile off. I've lost the Cuckoo Blitz. I found the Google Blitz. Hmm. What are you doing on the back side of this map? God, okay, good. Good thing I managed to get to him in time. Alright, Kugel Blitz is getting machine gunned. He's out of it. Where's the guy at that's over here? Oh, well, it doesn't really matter if he makes it there or not. We've, we've won it. Yeah, we won it. Oh, hey, a Conqueror. Oh, I'm at 8.0. There's a Vickers Mark I here. Sh hopefully, shouldn't be too hard to deal with most of the 8.0 things. If we're fighting America... Okay, America's on our side, thank goodness. M60s and M60A2s are kind of... on the more difficult side to deal with with this round. But it can be done. You just gotta, like, take crew out. That's pretty much what British vehicles are good at. Uh, before you get to, like, the 8.0s. Is you're just taking out crew members one by one. Because of the solid shots. Oh, well, I didn't get any capture points, dang. All the fast things took the capture points, so... 
I guess I'll just push on in. Just gonna mosey my way on in over this way. And just like that, we can shoot into their spawn now. Yeah. Good old War Thunder map design. Alright, what do you see? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh wow, those buildings are solid. The shipping container is a solid object. I think that was, yeah, that was a Samoa. A uh, Soma. Alright, we saved the Bradley. But now I'm out of it because I saved the Bradley. Never mind. Alright, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's uh, dead. Okay. Who we'll put the smoke cloud right here? It's a lot of um, small arms fire going on. I guess we don't leave the B point because there's still something right here. Uh oh, uh oh, T55 AM1. Ah, I'm dead. Alright, got a martyr. Let's see if you can get back to the B point. Oh, I'm guessing that was the Conqueror that was under attack. Oh. Oh, come on, Centurion. I know you can make it up that hill. At an angle, of course, but you know. That's besides the point. On the lookout for a T55 AM1. Want it for Moida. As well as an anti air somewhere on the B point. Okay, we know where the martyr is. But do we know where the T55 is? We do not. T55 is knocked out, martyr is the only one that's left. Alright, come on, come on, come on. What's that? Nothing? Okay, the martyr is on the other side of this ridge line right here. Uh, maybe, just maybe. I can one shot it like the other two. Okay, good. Alright, martyr is down. I'm going to go for the C point because we need the point. Oh, there's something up there. Oh, there's something right here. T95, help me. Thank you. But now I'm out in the open. Oh, time to pop smoke. I don't know where that came from. Oh, it came from behind. Of course it did. And it bounced. <laughs> Thank you for helping me repair, ally. Now we gotta get out of here. Oh, it's a shot. Um, well, that's not the shot cal delete, but it's a uh, basically the exact same thing. I'm over here now, numbskull. Oh no, the L08 killed the M163. Okay, see Venom, you need to take out that that plane. Oh, okay, okay, all right, never mind. I'm out. For some reason, when I saw that martyr, I also saw the tank that was behind it, which, come to find out, was an M48, which I, I could definitely have taken out both from the way they were looking at me. But my brain, I thought, aim between them and I'll get both of them. And I did not. Although, surprisingly, I survived that one rocket from the, uh, the Alouette, which just crashed. Uh, that surprisingly... Uh, 
I think it might have hit the saddle bags on the side of the turret. That might have been what caused the missile to not do a lot of damage. Okay, now we gotta look for anything that's lightly armored. Like that thing. Or that thing. Or that thing or that thing. There's three things up that have anti-air capability. a lot of fire. I think that's a Kugel Blitz. It is a Kugel Blitz. There's also something next to a pipeline somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's a martyr. Now that I could probably knock out, but not anymore. He's probably going to be looking at me. Is that it? Ah! Oh, pull, 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 pull. No, no, no. Never mind. Alright, there's something on the A point, and we're capturing the C point. Luckily, I managed to get another jet. Hopefully, with ground ammunition rounds this time, I can potentially light engines on fire. Or potentially knock out crew members. So, first let's see what's on the A point. And hope that it's as far away from that Kugel Blitz as possible. Alright, I see it. It's going to be on the main road momentarily. I shouldn't attack it like this, but I'm going to do it anyways. Because I've just lost it. Got him. There's a BMP. Going to go out this way. Oh, we got it. <laughs> that wasn't too hard. It was inevitably going to happen. I was going to get feels of Poland. The map that I absolutely do not like. But uh, we're fighting America, France, Sweden, and Israel. Is Israel. So, um. Yeah. I. wonder where to go. I'm gonna go cap the A point if I can make it in time. Uh, and then I might just sit over in the forest on H3. Or no, that's B3. H3 is like way down on the opposite side of the map. Well done, put cruise control on. As I suspected, I will not be able to get any capture points from A, so I probably should just went for B. Yeah, B would have probably been a much better option. Well, I guess now the only thing left to do is to just sit over in the forest and protect our flanks because without that they will push us on this side. Of course if we stop them before they can. No pin. What is that? Oh it's a doom turtle. Or it's the baby doom turtle. Well what's behind it then? That is also a baby doom turtle. Or unless that's the same vehicle. No that's impossible. I think it's three doom turtles. I think it's three Doom Turtles. The Sky OT people. It's three Doom Turtles. Probably the RU251 might be able to get through them. Interesting. Now I know you can knock out one of those things from the top in the uh, commander's hatch. Or the two cupolas that are on top of the tank. But, from this far range, I probably won't be able to hit that. Unless it's something with the very... Yep, there goes RU-251 just knocked out one. So yeah, the RU-251 can definitely knock them out. And there's a heavy tank pushing. Dang, that M56. I know I shouldn't overextend for this, but... Gunner loader, machine gunner. He's gonna look this way now. And he's got a friend. Commander gonna breach.
ease out of it. Now T95, no T28, that is a T25 I think. That's the Tiger, the T25 Tiger. I think it's what it's called. Oh, nope, T95 got me. Dang. Okay, now the only reason I would attack the Doom Turtle is because there's a scorpion behind him that just got knocked out. Dang, okay. I was planning on going for that scorpion to take out his repair minion. But too late, already out. And I do have ground ammunition selected, so... Going after airplanes will be a lot harder just because they'll be able to see the bullets. Okay, what are you? Probably a prop. Could be a cobra. I see yellow. Could be an air cobra. Which I think it might be. Stealth ammunition, I would, he wouldn't have seen me. But yeah, I still got him. The There's the other plane. Key 4 might get him. There's a 109. Okay. Oh, what are you? And can I uh, target to you? I can, but it did nothing. That is the strongest M163 I've ever seen in my life. There he goes, he's out of it now. It's an M42 duster. Now there's an M56 in this forest over here somewhere. I think I saw it. I did not see it. Okay. I'll stay in the area so that if it the, uh, my friendly starts getting attacked by it or pushed by it, I'll be able to see it. Oh, I saw it. It's right there, right where my wing is at. There you are. It's on fire. If I can light a second fire, oh, dang, M46, got him. So I'm fire again, one more fire. Got him, okay. That M19, that duster is shooting at me now. Uh, I don't see any plane. There's a plane up now. Let's see. Let's see. I could probably go for that Doom Turtle. Nah, I won't be able to get him. Its armor is too sloped downward. Or is that too high of a sloping? But I can go for you, though. You're a bulldog. Shouldn't have been shooting at me. I wouldn't have known that you were there. That plane is coming in, so... Ah, no. Not a good attack angle. Knock at his track. He's out. He won't be able to move for a while. His engine's also out. With only 15 cannon rounds, I say let's go back home. 
Well, I don't think I'll be able to land in time because I believe we're about to win this. They've only got like 300 tickets left. Unless that Doom Turtle and Bulldog and I think that was an M26, M46 manages to push the A cap. I don't think they will be able to though in time. Yeah, we just won it. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video where I played out the Centurion and these um, four matches that I did, or these are the four matches that I probably did the best out of probably six matches. Yeah, four out of six, so that's pretty good. Of course, with everything that you face nowadays with China and the USSR, they have the T-55 AM-1, used to not have that, uh, as well as with Germany, the Leopards, the Leopard by default is usually most of the time is going to one shot you with heat most of the time not through the turret although yes you will get knocked out the turret as you saw not only that the tank is uh, quite a mobile platform as you saw on arctic or uh, polar base uh, arctic research base as i call it uh i was able to move around in the snow very easily, I was able to uh, adjust the situation, adjust to the situation that's happening around me. So, uh, the Centurion is a. If you want to go down the uh, British tech tree for ground forces, I recommend the Centurion. The Centurion is a very, very good tank. Uh, most, mostly, once you get to this part. Uh, so basically, you have the Firefly and the Churchill and the Avenger, and then you skip. Basically, you skip all of this. Unless you just want to meme around, and then you get the Firefly and the Churchill, and then you get the Centurions and the FVs and all of the the anti-air like uh, the Falcon. So, like once you get to like 7.8.0 Britain, that's when you start having a lot more luck, I would say, because even at 6.7 the Tortoise, you're fighting against things that have heat, like the recoilless um, the Fiat with the recoilless rifle. And the heat is going to go straight through you. Your your armor really doesn't do anything anymore due to all the things that's been added to game. Because back in the day, it was only the Allies and the Axis. USA, Britain, Germany, Japan, and uh, I think Italy was in No, Italy wasn't in it. It was USA, Germany, USSR, Britain, and Japan. So it was like the big four were in, the, in it. And then China, Italy, France, Sweden, and Israel got added on and with them being added on there's more crazy stuff that you have to fight yet at the same time the more crazy stuff that's added the more likely you are to find a weak point in it and you're able to exploit it so you just gotta i guess keep your wits about you and learn about what you're going against like the t95 push on the map uh on fields of poland I know where to shoot them from, but at that far range, I probably wouldn't be able to do anything against it. Uh, though the RU251 at that range is able to do something because it's firing a heat round, while I've only got access to a solid shot, uh, another solid shot, and a high explosive fragmentation and smoke grenades. So, know your maps, know your vehicles, know what you're fighting against. So, without further ado, I'll say. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.